All right, next, Virginia Surgeons. This is Toby. I remember. Main money side is three months old. It bounced around from page, from second page to fifth page, now back to the top of fourth in the last two weeks. Is this the new norm? Yes, Toby. Uh, is this the new norm or do we set it aside and build another money site? Well, I would say both. Uh, yes, it's the new norm, but just go ahead if you if if you have the the um you know if you have the ability and the time the desire to do so then build a second property too that you know that's a Terry Kyle uh, strategy which is anytime going into a new niche uh, you know testing a new niche or new you know new keywords in a new city or whatever is to build more than just one site because if you put all your eggs in one basket there is that random ranking factor that sometimes domains just perform poorly and there's even a brand new domain or expired domain alike it doesn't matter. Sometimes domains just are like, you know, I call it an algorithmic anomaly, right? So it's just some domains just are at a disadvantage right out of the gate. And there's not really any rhyme or reason to it. But, uh, you know, if you build multiple sites for the same uh, project, essentially, then some some are just going to perform better than others naturally. And, you know, again, it, it, it's, it's difficult to do if you're doing, you know, a lot of, a lot of projects. I get that. But if you're only working on a couple projects, you know, it makes sense to, instead of just putting all your eggs in one basket. So one site build out two or three, right? Because one of them is going to outperform the others hands down every time it's going to, it's just the nature of the game guys. So I would say, yes, it is a new norm, uh, dancing and that whole probationary period. Marco's done a fantastic job on a blog post about that. What they call the you know the Google Dance and making changes and that kind of stuff. Dancing a lot for especially for new sites is the new norm. But you know also if you can build additional sites, uh, you 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 may find that just one you know one site will outperform all the others uh, by leaps and bounds, and then that's your winner, right? Like Terry yeah. Kyle, I know because that's a, a strategy I learned from him that he go he'll go out and build five sites around a particular um, set of keywords. And, you know, invariably one will always outperform the other four. You know, they, there will be a mix as to how well each one of them performs, but there's always one that rises to the top. And then that's the one that you put the rest going forward that you uh, put the most effort into. That makes sense. And the other properties, guys, it's not a waste of time because the other properties can be used as feeder properties, right? Parasites, um, you know, PBN sites, sites for backlinking purposes. So the other sites aren't a waste. You just identify which one's going to perform the best in search and then use that to be your money site and all the other ones become feeder sites. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I just wanted to add, yeah, I wanted to add real quick that when you have a winner, when you have a winning domain, you can see it right off the bat. It's yep. crazy. But, you know, you could be struggling. I don't know. You could be struggling like for months to get a domain to page one. Uh, but when you have a winning domain, you only need a couple of, a couple of tweaks to the to the on-site SEO, not even uh, not even backlinks. You know, that's the power of having a, a win in the main. It will make things so much easier. You know, that's why Terry Kyle approaches this because he's really he's really on point with that, and you can really tell when you have a win in the main uh, right off the bat. You know, I don't know why. Maybe it's some randomness in it, uh, but or maybe there are fluctuations of the algorithm. I I, I don't know why, but there's this randomness that you need to have in mind. So if it's your project, uh, I would suggest that, yeah, go ahead and, and uh, you, you know, to, to test it out is super simple. What you need to do is to set up three WordPress sites with three different, like three different articles and optimize them for SEO. And the one that gets without links, without anything, with the um, default WordPress theme, you know, um, yeah. once, you, once you have that, the, 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 um, the domain that hits uh, the higher uh, rank, if you would, or page two or bottom page one, whatever, that's the menu. It's super straightforward, super simple. It will take you half an hour and it can save you months of trying hard, you know, of, for ranking your domain. So, yeah. He also has a Google site ranking on the first page. Yeah, I so saw I that. Say, I, would, I would say optimize that. Yeah. Make make that your, the hub, make that make that where, where, where everything starts. And then you, you can, once you have that, uh, Optimize, then you can push the power any way you want. I mean that right. that's the theory behind our or part of the theory behind our YS Academy. We play on the fact that Google is narcissistic. It's going to love itself before it loves anybody else, even if if it ever does love anybody else. That's what we play on. Yep. 
Yeah, and so he says Google site just made it on the first page, so this should all tell us something, yeah, or tell us all something, and that's exactly what RYS Academy does. I mean, yeah, absolutely. So that's you know we use not only the Google sites but also the drive files uh, to rank shit and to rank pretty much for anything. It's insane, and that's what uh, RYS Academy is all about, Toby. So if you're not in that yet, you should really check it out because if you're, uh, I mean, there's just so it's just incredible the power that you can have with that. And I love this follow up comment. Video video powerhouse is fantastic. It ranked both my videos almost instantly, and they both rank higher than my money site. Six stars. <laughs> that's awesome. And it's crazy because I I. I noticed we have 802 sites in the network now, and I know we have got a bunch more coming. So I'm that's there's a lot in there now, guys. And for a while, we we've been dealing with on the back end, developing out all the processes and stuff to make it super powerful, and we're just really starting to ramp up the deployment of the new sites, and um, it's going to be big. Well, how many are we, what's our target? Our target number got, of sites? We've got over 2,000. Trying to get it to three by by release, but we have over half a million, uh, might be closer to 750,000 on the secondary embed network, network also. Everything is themed. Everything is relevant. Everything is separated, categorized, guys. That's the power of, of Video Powerhouse. We're adding IFTTT networks where necessary. Uh, the, the, the content team is working. The, the build team is working. Everybody has been working their butt, up, their butt off to, to make this what it is right now. So if if it is if it's like this right now, imagine what it's going to be once it's all set. I, I mean, that, that's all I have to say with on that one. I can't wait. I can't wait for it to, to come to go public. They're getting results now, guys. That's all. You know, what else needs to be said? 